those people were racist. Racist as and that we should be able Do to teach that. Sam Cedar has some of the stupidest takes on guns and like especially like the kind of QAnon. There were racist white people, but it doesn't mean that all white people are racist or were racist, or that's the only thing that made them racist, which is being white. Wild statement to even make. And, Do you and think I, white and, and people like, have an immutable characteristic of racism? Within the context of our society? Yeah, yeah I think that there is. Well, I don't know that that is. <sighs> Careful. Recently did a video called uh, Republicans say 1921 Tulsa race massacre lessons shouldn't discuss racism. Uh, and in the video, we see someone ask the school superintendent for Oklahoma how schools could teach something like the Tulsa race massacre without running afoul the anti-CRT bill. And you sh and instead of um, you guys, you don't show the full answer or the full interaction that the superintendent. What are you gave. eating? I have almonds. I heard that peanuts bring down your LDL, and mine is like seven points high, so I'm eating nuts now. You played only the second part, the second half of his answer, kind of out of context. And then using that out of context clip, um, you and your co-hosts jump to what I would categorize as unfair conclusions about this guy's position, about the positions of the government of Oklahoma. Because in the first part of the guy's answer, the superintendent, uh, he says that Oklahoma should 100% teach the Tulsa race massacre he says that the only way for American children to continue to make America the best country in the world is to learn from the mistakes of the past, that children should have a very clear, direct understanding of these events. He specifically says he doesn't want to hide any part of U.S. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. oh, my God. Did anybody? I don't think we'll have time to go over today. That destiny you're going to try out Project L. <sighs> my whole life is a Project L. <laughs> But I just can't stop winning. Oh my God, did anybody catch? Ooh, those spicy, spicy Trump indictments from yesterday. Yikes. Yikes. Hey, dude. Oh God, hello. Um, saw that you had uh, Sam Cedar on your screen. And uh, it got me kind of thinking. I literally yeah, it, just said it, that three times. That's what you claimed earlier. Yeah. And then so, now you just said the opposite of that. And then you said, but does it no. really matter because it's still just hatred? And I said, no. Well, I guess no. it kind of doesn't because we want to work against hatred. No. Right? That's the goal. No, 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 no. You're mixing up what I said. No, you're mixing up what I said. It's entirely possible for somebody to harm a group while trying to help them. Um, there could be some conservatives who think homosexuality... Okay, I, I guess I'm out mm -hmm. of here. Okay, eat sh All right, I'm listening take care, to dude. Uh-huh, go eat shit. <laughs> Why are you trolling him so hard? I wasn't trolling. I was being honest about all that. Well, no, wait, like, we can hear your piano in the background. Oh, th that's coming through? Oh, because I switched the stuff over. Yeah. Oh, whoopsie, my bad. Rip. I'm listening to you. Da, 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 da. I want. I'm trying to have a reasonable discussion here. Why, why don't you share your actual opinion and, and clarify your belief? Da, 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 da. Like I think. Um, How do they get here the so Democratic fast? The Democratic Party <laughs> could become incredibly, massively powerful and popular if they would just get rid of the stupid anti-gun bullshit. Um. True, I actually super believe that. I yeah. feel like if uh, if the Democrats got rid of the anti-gun shit and the Republicans got rid of the um, abortion shit, I feel like that's like both sides could increase their base massively without losing very many supporters. But both side, <clears throat> neither side wants to give much on that, I think. Yeah, I f well, like even in um, fairly conservative thinking areas, a lot of them tend to vote Democrat just because they realize voting Democrat benefits them more. So, like... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we used to have... What were they called? Weren't they called Blue Dog Democrats? Weren't those, like, incredibly conservative people that still voted Democrat because of, like, unions and stuff? Am I crazy? Yeah, unions, uh, workers' benefits, <clears throat> um, like, just a lot of different things. But, <clears throat> like, Sam Cedar has some of the stupidest f***ing takes on guns. And, like, especially, like, the kind of QAnon... 
sort of Trump supporter people who like literally believe the government is trying to take away all their rights and they believe in some of these crazy conspiracies. Like I'd imagine it, it really puts off those types of people, but even more moderate conservatives. Like just when you think of the idea of arbitrarily taking somebody's rights away for really no uh, justifiable reason, it scares them off and you hear fucking people like Sam like not only you know like it, I the the stuff about uh Rittenhouse is pretty cringe. But, I mean Sam um, Cedar is self-admittedly would probably say he's like an extreme well not an extremist but he'd say he's far left, right? So I mean like he sits in a, yeah. in a far part of the political spectrum, right? Well, I don't think he's too far from like at least a stance on guns from a lot of Democrats. Um like he had a really cringe take on Rittenhouse. It was stupid. That debate you had with him was f hilarious. He would have got, uh, guzzled gallons of his cum if he was black. You said that I would be guzzling buckets of his cum if he was black. Now, aside from, uh, you know, the, the issue of whether I would uh, guzzle buckets of cum uh, in any scenario, you said I would be guzzling buckets of his cum where I'd be so excited. I'd be jizzling, you know, giz you know, uh, sucking people's cum that I'd be guzzling buckets of his cum. I'm so be... excited that I would be guzzling buckets of their cum. I think that I the... would let them jack off in my mouth because I'm so excited about what they did. Um, but on top of that, uh, he, he was coming up with this idea that gun manufacturers should be open to lawsuits, uh, to victims of, like, firearms violence. Yeah, so, unfortunately, like, I think even Hillary Clinton was a supporter of this position, but yeah. Really? Yeah, it was pretty, it was it's just, it, I, I didn't mind her saying it because there was no f***ing shot anything like that would ever pass in Congress because that's such an unbelievably stupid position, but, yeah. Well, yeah, it, it makes no f sense like you'd have to open up like you know auto manufacturers to lawsuits because the like toronto van attacker and shit sure yeah like they're they're not but i mean when you have a lot of people who um at least online are kind of uh what people are going to be exposed to when it comes to left-leaning politics and what the democratic party is all about and I didn't know that about Hillary, but like, holy crap, if it goes up that high, um, where you see this like insane anti-gun bullshit, not even like, okay, well, let's just have universal background checks, whatever, like literally just trying their best to dig and scratch at like every little, you know, possibility they might have to take away your, your right to bear arms. Why is the f Democratic Party doing this? Guns like are they would spooky have no and plays well to the base. I mean, people like to hate on guns, especially spooky rifles. It, it doesn't make, like, no one in the Democratic Party is not going to f***ing vote Democrat because they have a base take on guns. You know what I mean? So yeah, if I agree. they can... But it just, it's like a, vir it's the easiest virtue signal rally after, like, mass shootings. Like, Trudeau was, like, yeah. hyping up the, um, the Texas shooting in Uvalde or whatever when they were doing gun legislation yeah. in in Canada, so I mean, like, yeah. By the way, um, since handguns have been banned here nationwide, there have been an insane amount of fucking weird shootings. So not only are they happening during the day, but they're also happening very frequently in places that you'd normally never see shootings. So like, it, it's virtue signaling horse shit. But like, if they're like, if they're so worried about people like Trump, um, like, why don't they just drop this shit? It's so stupid, and they know it doesn't work. Um, I don't know if it doesn't work. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Maybe. Um, I, mean, I don't know how much that like riles the base up to go and vote. But yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't disagree. I feel like guns are a really stupid thing to rally behind. I think it completely alienates people in the center and a lot of like conservative Democrats because there are a lot of socially, there are a lot of socially conservative Democrats who probably don't mind guns that much. It's just, uh, but it plays really well on TV and on Twitter and shit. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, I, I would just like uh, more people in the actual Democratic Party to actually think for a second how it might actually affect election outcomes and not just think about how it makes them look on TV. You know, like, oh my God, that's a politician that wants to make a difference. Like, 
at the end of the day, nobody's going to vote for Trump because Biden wants to expand firearms rights. All the same people are going to vote for these people. And then you're also going to get way f- more uh, like Republicans and people on the far right voting Democrat because they know their you know guns are going to be safe. And on top of that, like literally every other f- Democratic uh, policy benefits them. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree. But I mean, I say the same thing about Republicans. If they could just be like a little bit less racist and then if they could just stop fixating so much on like abortion, I think those are also major polarizing issues that don't benefit the party much. There's no Republican that's not going to vote for like their Republican guy because Republicans don't have like huge positions on abortion anymore or whatever. I don't think that would be, I don't think they need to fixate so hard on it. But Yeah, I think um, Republicans getting rid of their like anti-abortion bullcrap and their racism, I don't think that would help them nearly as much as it would help the Democrats if they ended up being pro-gun. Maybe. I think that I feel like the Republicans have a massive untapped reservoir of voters in minority communities because I think minorities tend to run way more socially conservative than a lot of people in the United States, especially people on the left realize. Like minorities strictly vote for Democrats on economic policies, but socially they're going to align with Republicans way more in terms of being with traditional values, not as big on the LGBT stuff, probably being more religious. Um, But Republicans just are totally blinded to that entire demographic because they're so racially oriented in a lot of their... um, like a lot of their stuff that is true but um the issue is to like on their actual policy positions like especially these days like why would you vote for them there's just literally no reason to vote for trump or desantis or or anybody i mean maybe but i don't even know how many people vote for policies these days i don't think people think about it that way if you ask the single, um, if you ask a, the average Trump voter, like what policies of Trump did he like, um, probably eighty-five percent of them couldn't name a single policy. Well, and then fourteen percent of the rest would say the tax cuts. Like that's it. Well, Trump voters, mm-hmm. um, and they don't even realize the tax tax cuts don't even benefit them. Well, I don't know about that. I think it. I think it actually did benefit. Um, quite a few middle and lower class people, right? Because it, I think it, didn't it double the standard deduction, I think in the United States, which was probably helpful. And I think it lowered, I think the, some of the federal posted rates, I think. Um, I think it only really affected people making like over 400,000 a year, didn't it? That's like nobody. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'd have to like go back and look it up. I'm pretty sure it, it, might've, it might've helped them the most, but I'm pretty sure it was across the board tax cut. I don't think it was. You might be right, but I'm pretty sure it only really benefited people making like over 400,000 a year. Um, But yeah, I just wanted to come on, spew, you know, what I was thinking because I just saw you reacting to Sam. Okay. Well. All right. We'll take care, man. Have fun. What? Why does he hate Weow so much? Can somebody explain? Another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. Cow doesn't grow fast enough for man. So through his greed, he makes a faster plan. He has drugs to make the cow grow quicker. Through the stress, the cow gets sicker. 21 different drugs are pumped into the cow in one big lump. So just before it dies, it cries. In a slaughterhouse full of germs and flies, off of the hand they pack it, drain it, and can't shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm. I gotta. I gotta. I. I'm All sorry. Right. I need to see that whole performance again. Bus history. Um, but that answer wasn't played, you know, in your guys' show, and okay. you only played the second part of his answer where he says. He would never tell a kid that they are inherently racist because of the kid's skin color. And he continues to say that you can teach about these historical incidences as long as you don't blame the behavior on immutable characteristics. And from, from just that clip, um, you accused him of denying the existence of white supremacy, the KKK, the racial motivations behind the Tulsa race massacre, you refer to him and the state of Oklahoma as pro- Jesus Christ, this monologue. Okay, RTBA, give me the reason why- Just type in chat right now, clearly. Why do you hate Weow so much? Literally, stupid spam for golden shit that doesn't exist. You brain-dead chimp known bitch. Who, people spam emotes all the time. Who cares? How many times do we spam the nails emote or any other fucking random emote? 
Did I put Weow in my kick chat? Do we have it there? Oh, it's on like 7 TV or whatever. <laughs> oh, I think he's just mad because there's like, I think Cake built into the site, there's like a 1% like a chance that if you type in Weow, I think there's a chance if you type in two of them that there's like a golden Weow that'll appear. But it's only given out to like 10 chatters a day, I think. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Stop. You guys are going to get nuked. You guys are actually going to get permaban. Stop. I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Stop. Okay. Take a break. Okay. Propagating lost causes. Do I have a keeper kick happening today? Is it? Is anything? Is anything happening today? which is the idea of casting slave owners as benevolent, downplaying the horrors of slavery, and saying the Civil War wasn't about slavery. You compared his statement and the anti-CRT bill to being similar to the conditions that caused the Tulsa Race Massacre in the first place. Uh, you referred to this anti-CRT legislation as upholding the Confederacy. You said he and the state were trying to remove the fact that the Tulsa Race Massacre was motivated by race and racism, and you all agreed to call him a white supremacist. So I guess... What I'm confused about is how, from his answer, you derived all these conclusions. Um, I, you know, obviously, I don't, I don't have all the, 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 the bare uh, genocide of the wheel never happened. Necessarily recall the, the video, but I'll stipulate everything you've said. What, what happened to his voice? Hello? Would you just repeat to me the last thing he said about immutable characteristics? I can read you his direct thing if you want me to yeah just well, repeat what you had just told me in that's in that setup okay well what i told you was that he said um the way i described it was he said you can teach about historical incidences as long as you don't blame the behavior on immutable characteristics okay so what what do you think he's talking about when he says blame the behavior of the tulsa uh uh massacre he's saying that um what i interpreted what he was saying because the person the question asked was, how does teaching the race, the Tulsa no, race I know. massacre... No, I, I know that. But I'm saying, like, when he well, no, says... Wait, I'm, I'm, well, I'm trying to answer the question. Okay. He's, you know, because the question, the person says, how does this, how does teaching this incident not run afoul of the CRT or the anti-CRT legislation? And his answer is that he's saying that he would never teach a child that the child is inherently racist because of their skin color. No, but that's not what he said. What he said was, w will you just read the quote? He said, um, I would never tell a kid that because of your race, because of the color of your skin or your gender or anything like that, that you are less of a person or inherently racist. That and doesn't the, the mean next one about, yeah, the, that yeah. doesn't mean you don't judge the actions of individuals. You can absolutely do that. Historically, you should. This was right. This was wrong. They did this for this reason. But to say it was inherent in that because of their skin. Wait, did I delete I say that five iron alloy somehow? What You're the fuck? You're saying that race defines a person. I reject that. So I would say to you to be judgmental of the issue of the action of the meow, meow, character meow. of the individual, absolutely. Thanks. But let's not tie it into his skin color and say the skin color determines that. Okay. So the idea that the Oklahoma massacre was simply a function of some bad individuals to me is absurd. It is uh, co contrary to historical context. I mean, let's be clear. The Oklahoma massacre was not the only massacre that took place in, in the post-reconstruction years. There were dozens. There were political coups. There were assassinations. They were white people taking out political, uh, politi black political people and black wealth. And the idea that this was simply a function of individuals, but not a function of an ideology that came out of in the wake of the Civil War is just, I'm sorry, it's ludicrous. And um, and and just the, the idea that this is going to be, you cannot consider 
the question of race, which I guess is the immutable characteristic that he's referring to, right? Uh, that race plays no part in white supremacy is a total yeah, denial. I, think kick a chad. I mean, and, and look, let me be clear. Like, I think uh, white supremacy is a practice that we all largely in this society engage in, including black people. Um, and because it's something that has been so ingrained into the society, into the, the fabric of our society, that okay. it is, um, it's almost like, uh, it's almost, in, well, in many respects, it's involuntary. Uh, there are, to be sure, there's a lot of white supremacy that is uh, much more voluntary and much more you're uh, aware of uh, for some people. But broadly speaking, uh, we make choices every day that are a function of, of white supremacy, that are, um, that are a function of white supremacy. The idea that the Oklahoma race massacres was not a function of the whiteness and the blackness of the people involved I'm sorry. It's just in my mind. When are we getting a fear and hunger now, playthrough for content? I, I don't know. Uh, Ask you know, your mom. Uh, oh. I, I don't know. I remember the exact context of the guy. I don't remember the guy whatsoever. And I'm, uh, but that view in my mind is a is both a white supremacist view, which again, I believe that white supremacy is something that we can practice unconsciously. Right. And I believe that that. Subscribing to that view is certainly what ultimately leads to more egregious acts of racism. Um, and it also is, I think, I think it is uh, completely consistent with the impetus behind the lost cause. I think, frankly, the whole assault on CRT is also denial of, of, of uh, systemic racism. I mean, it is also... Uh, I, I think like a, a fictionalized version of what CRT in fact is. And I would also say that like the, the, the goal of these laws is in, in, in my mind uh, uh, twofold. It is one to make it uh, so that uh, people who would teach about questions of race to self-censor themselves because these things are written in such a vague manner, and um, you know, uh, particularly in the case of like Florida, where you have empowered people, and I think the Oklahoma law is is, uh, is uh, modeled after this. You empower people to sue a school district; they're going to err on the side of not bumping up against that law because it's so costly for them, and it's cheaper for them to avoid anything that is even remotely close to that. I mean, it's the the same thing with a, with a you know abortion bans. That's why you have doctors saying like, I'm not going to perform uh, a, you know an abortion on an ectopic pregnancy because I'm not going to lose my license and, uh, and and go to jail. And so that that type of like um, uh, ambiguity around the law is is not a bug, but rather a feature of that law. And then I would also say that on top of of, of that being the the purpose of the law, it is. And I think we're seeing this in Florida, which has been the pioneer in this stuff, that the next step is a, a beginning to uh, um, proffer more, uh, uh, I would say, de race den racism denial, uh, denial, like in the form of the, the attempt to rewrite the... I, the way that some people talk, I can never tell if I'm just getting old and stupid, or people just... They say so much, and I feel like it can be said so much more succinctly. Am I crazy? Sometimes I feel like when people talk, it's like, I feel like you could have said this five-minute sentence in like... 20 seconds. I, I don't know, maybe. The curriculum to say that uh, slavery provided personal benefits for the enslaved. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't remember the, the, the specifics of the video you're talking about, but largely, um, based on his comments, regardless of what he's saying to mitigate that, um, the, I, I think that his, uh, you know, understanding of, of both that law and of the Oklahoma massacre is uh, completely consistent with uh, white supremacy. I think um I think you misinterpret what he was saying. I think you misinterpret saying, what he's saying. That's oh, what, 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 right. Well, let me oh. I, 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 I think 
So my understanding of what he was saying, he wasn't he didn't say anything that like you can't teach that the Tulsa race massacre was motivated by racism or animosity towards black people. Because the first sentence he says is, I would never tell a kid that because of your race, because of the color of your skin, that you are less of a person or inherently racist. He's the, now you can disagree with how he defines CRT, but in the anti CRT bill, it says specifically that you can't teach that someone is inherently racist because of their skin color. And so he's saying that's the element that you shouldn't teach. He's not saying you can't teach that the people involved in the Tulsa race massacre were motivated by racism. I mean, can you put up his full quote? Because I wasn't responding to that part, obviously. I was responding to the the second half. You said something like uh, that the uh, events were not a function of some immutable characteristics. He said, um, I would never tell the kid that because of your race, because of the color of your skin or your gender or anything like that, that you were less of a person or inherently racist. That doesn't mean that you don't judge the actions of individuals. You can absolutely do that. Historically, you should. This was the right. This was right. This was wrong. They did this for this reason. But to say it was inherent... This is where I see it's key. But to say it was inherent in that because of their skin is where I say that is critical race theory. I will tell you. Oh, uh, I think I understand what the original guy is saying. And I think I see the disagreement. So the guy said, you cannot teach that the, I, it sounds like they're talking about the Tulsa race riots. You cannot teach that the Tulsa race riots were done because they were white people and white people do these things. But it doesn't mean that you can't teach that, um, that doesn't mean you can't mention that um, that racism was involved, essentially. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Stock Rage Pope. Tell Destiny he's wrong and my ban is retarded. <clears throat> Jacob links this. Barbellmedicine.com, a basic guide to I cholesterol. I know people say things and wait too many words because they need to quadruple point five slash nuts. qualify their point to make it make sense. Replacing a significant portion of animal-derived saturated fats with unsaturated fats from fish like salmon, nuts like walnuts and almonds, avocados, olive, uh, canola oil, or other plant sources results in large decreases in blood cholesterol and decreases risk. Good one. that had those people who committed the uh who flew the planes that bombed the uh, wealthy neighborhood uh, don't ban the messenger we do ban hello have you seen 300 i haven't actually seen that movie but don't they kick the messenger into the into the hole was he just a messenger i have no idea black wealthy neighborhood in oklahoma had they been black they would not have done that I think, we can all, I think we can all agree on that, right? He's not saying that they wouldn't have done it if they were black or if they weren't black. He's saying that they just, they didn't do it because they were white. That's what he's, that's what, it sounds like that's what the original quoted guy is saying. Sam, I don't, look, it's, I don't think either one of us are disputing that those people were racist. Racist as f And that we should be able do to teach that. But I, the, the thing is, though, if people are are saying because those people were racist in the past that that you are in fact racist or that uh, any particular race is inherently racist as some sort of like biological determinism. That's the problem. Uh, well, first off, I don't think CRT in any way whatsoever. Teach Wait, I can't tell a Pisco has just become a jerker anti-fan. Wait, what is this? They did do it because they were white and racist. Haha, -ha. being white was essential. I can't tell if it's, I can't tell if that's a true statement or if you're just like taking the piss. What, what a retarded statement. It is not an essential quality of being white to be racist. They might've been racist against black people because they were white, but the, but, or it, it, to be racist against black people and that point in US history, you needed to be white, but that doesn't mean that every white person is racist. It's not a necessary condition of being white to be racist. That's what the argument is about right now. That's what these people are talking about. Which is that um, because people were racist in the past, they are inherently racist. Now, the CRT doesn't even come remotely close to teaching anything like that. Um, well, kind of does, but... What is this? Like, I don't think Donald Trump is going to... I think their whiteness was a necessary condition for the racism. That's what I mean. That's not what's being argued, though. What's being argued is that they were racist because they were white, or that's what the quote implies. Not that being white was a necessary condition, but both a necessary and not even necessary and sufficient. It's the, um, um, What's the impli- I, Dude, I should take a prop logic class. It's like, if A, then B, but he's saying, if B, then A. But if A, then B, it doesn't logic- Like, if A, if they were white, um... No, I don't even think that would be the logic that would fit here. 
I don't know why I'm even trying to make an analogy. This is really simple to understand. If you can't understand this, go talk to Rage Pope and he'll help you figure it out. This is really obvious. The guy would, just because somebody was white in the past didn't make them racist. There were racist white people, but it doesn't mean that all white people are racist or were racist, or that's the only thing that made them racist, which is being white. There's a better, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use analogies. This is super, that's super easy and obvious to understand. I don't, I don't know how else to, I don't know why I would even try to make an analogy to that. This, you should understand that, okay. <clears throat> Prison before the election. I don't think so either. So, the, like, I don't think Donald Trump is going to prison before the election. I don't think so either. So, this is really just, in my opinion, I, I hope this term isn't isn't the wrong term to use. It's just theater. It is, if Trump loses the election, then this stuff will process forward, and it'll be a good reason for the Republican Party to kind of get rid of him, because he's a twice loser, and who wants to keep that around, right? Right. But if he wins the election, this all goes away. So is that really an expression of the rule of law? I is that even true? Pretty sure they would be like the president pardoning himself from crimes is like, I think that's like theoretical. I don't know if it would actually work in practice that way. I'm not sure if anybody knows in practice how that would actually go. I don't think so. I mean, and why'd they take so long to prosecute? Why did they wait? Because it's, <laughs> it's a, what? Arguably, it's one of the most important investigations in the totality of US history. Why didn't they just file the charges as soon as they found like, the third year of the biden presidency this stuff happened this case has to be in my opinion in my uneducated opinion, this case needs to be like an open and shut like you are like 99.9 percent .9 of the way there you're at like beyond probable doubt when you submit the fucking indictment at that point because holy f if you're bringing weak weak ass federal charges against a running and prior president of the united states of america yeah it's not surprising that they might have taken a while to make sure that they had all their ducks in a line for this any years ago they could have filed charges before like am i retarded what do you mean by in practice if it's theoretically possible is it not necessarily possible theoretically i believe the president of the united states can pardon federal charges against people that are federally charged the idea of the president of the united states pardoning himself though is an obvious not good thing <laughs> Obviously, there are going to be a lot of people looking at how our government functions, both in the government and citizens of the government, that are going to be looking and going, well, is that really true? Can a president of the United States really do that? Is that actually the case? That if Donald Trump murders somebody in Washington, D.C. or whatever and picks up a federal murder charge, could he just snap his fingers and walk out of jail? Is that really how that works? Is that really what we're going to say? That's a that's a. You can say on paper, yes, but I don't know if the United States of America would necessarily function in that way. I think that I think that a lot of people <laughs> would look at that as not like a not a good thing. I don't think Donald Trump is going to prison. I think it's way more likely that Biden pardons Trump than Trump goes to prison before the election. Right. That's my that's, that's my personal opinion. I don't think Biden would pardon There's no shot. Biden pardoning Trump. What? And it doesn't even make sense um, because people will compare it to like the part of like Nixon and shit. I'm, I'm really taking my ass. I need to go and reread on it. Um, my understanding is the reason why Nixon was pardoned was because the idea was, listen, um, we are in the next era. We have a new president. We're, we're moving past it. OK, we're not going to have the country descend into chaos as we get at each other's throats for this shit. We saw what happened. Everything's in the air. We did the impeachment and now we're past it. Right. So whether or not you think that's a good or bad, like pardon, fine, whatever. That is way different. You retarded conservatives need to get it in your head that you f***ed up hard with Donald Trump and you do need to be punished for it. You absolutely need to lose your shit for it. Your party is going to crumble for a while at least one election cycle but you deserve it this was the deal that you made when you voted for an absolute fucking lunatic that the entire world could see was a fucking lunatic into office and you did it and you played that game and you got four years you got your three supreme court judges and now you lose your ass on it like that's you can't pardon somebody for that type of egregious offense it's fucking insane he's not we're not even talking about pardoning him for not the one but the well no it would would it are we pardoning him for a second impeachment? What a wild statement to even make if it was over the January 6th stuff. But but like, that's notwithstanding the other federal charges that he's facing. Um, I don't know if there are any more federal indictments that were waiting to come down, but like, no, D sorry, but Donald Trump doesn't just get a clean pardon to like walk away from this. Also, I could be wrong, but I'm, um, was that Nixon's first term? 
Or was that Nixon's second term? I think we would be looking at Nixon a lot differently if he tried to run again after getting pardoned. I think that people, um, I think that people would look at Nixon and be like, oh, that was a second, okay, so we didn't have to worry about that. I think that the feelings would be a lot different if Nixon was pardoned and then ran again for president. I think that the mood of the country would be significantly different. Um, I don't, I don't, maybe I'll leave my words. Um, I mean, you can come back at it, but I super don't believe that, um, I super do not believe that Donald Trump is getting pardoned for these charges. Absolutely un believable He did run again, they showed in Futurama? Oh, well, f me. I think it's way more likely that Biden pardons Trump than Trump goes to prison before the election. Right. That's my, that's, that's my personal opinion. I don't think Biden well, Trump, would- Well, Trump probably won't go to prison before the election. That's not even a brave, well, at least he's learned how to couch his predictions more. Tr Trump's probably not going to prison soon because these cases are going to take quite a while. I don't think these cases are going to be done in a year, right? Maybe? M probably not. Almost certainly not. No, these are really, really, really big. Pardon him before the election because he wants to be able to use that cudgel of, look, he's a criminal, he's being charged, and look how much drama there's going to be, and you don't want that in your life, you know what I mean? Right. Like, that's part of Biden's appeal is like, I'm not Trump. Yeah, I'm disappointing. Yeah. yeah, I am. I'm never going. You know, I'm in the. This guy is such a f***ing loser, dude. He doesn't deserve to look like Jesus with that hair. I can win by being the alpha male. So the guy pays for my tab. I think they, I'm just. I'm. I'm getting your attention. I'm. I'm getting your attention. I'm. I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched. I cast. I cast. I cast. Gun pointed to your head. You have to pick one, Destiny. Who you think is gonna win? I think Biden. <laughs> Don't point it to your head, you have to pick one. <laughs> yeah, what, is gonna win? Who you think? what an idiot! Fuck. What an idiot! And so today, I am announcing the suspension of my campaign. Thank you all very much. I need the couch but punching. Now, Sim, I'm telling you, all the Simpies that are watching this right now. Break free. Start lifting right, is that immediately. It? Punch is that something. It? Is I that all say the punch, mic part? You know what I mean? But that, I am also saying okay. that you should do is that. Is that it? Is that the only part that I'm in? Because uh, it's boring me now. All right, cool. Can he pardon himself if he becomes the president? I, nobody knows. Orange is the new black. Can't wait to have my first president working in a prison. <laughs> Sam Cedar versus actual justice warrior on crime. Just, uh, Holy our, Jesus. Uh, wait, we didn't even finish this. But we can talk about something else. Mm -hmm. But not but not really. No, a actually no. That's well, that's not what you true. meant when you said we're all engaged in white supremacy because the idea is yeah, that since that. our society was set that's up- That's actually not critical supremacy. race theories either. The critical race theories is that okay. there are institutions and functions of society that are set up mm -hmm. uh, that um, are a function of uh, of racism in the sense that there is diminished. Uh, so, for example, um, it is statistically far more likely that your neighborhood, if you are black, will be t ten to twenty degrees hotter in the the summer, in the peak of of, uh, of the summer. Now, now, do you know why that is? Blood if you're black, if you are black. I would have there would be it would be significantly more likely that your neighborhood is actually hotter. The, the question, than if you're the white. question though, is and that the reason? Being... No, no. And the reason is is because there are less trees that are planted in in urban areas. In, there are less trees planted in neighborhoods where there are black people. That's just a fact. And the reason why that is is because there's less political power and less money in those neighborhoods. This is just a fact. I mean, this is a okay. measurable fact. I, I and, think we should and, we should stick to the point we, that we want. Okay. That, well, we should I mean, we should stick to the point of the bill well, because well, I, well, I like I don't dispute protracted, any. Okay. Wait, okay, well, I don't. Say, I don't dispute wait, wait, anything. Wait, 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 wait. We have a protracted conversation. Maybe we would in the future. I'd be interested to have this about what CRT is because I've actually read way too much about CRT and read too much academic literature on CRT. Um, but 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 instead of debating that, the thing that I want to talk about with this is that you know you can disagree with Oklahoma or this guy's interpretation of how they define CRT. Right. But that would be different than saying, well, they're claiming you can't teach that the Tulsa race massacre was motivated by racists, which when I'm looking at his words, he's not saying that. And when I look at the law, it doesn't appear to say anything like that either. I mean, in the words that you just said to me, that the, this act actions 
mm. was not a function of an immutable characteristic. Oh. That to me says these people did not attack uh, that um, uh, that neighborhood in Oklahoma because the people were black. And these people did not attack well, that, that the, the, and the attackers did not do so. There's a confusion. Uh, there's a confusion going on here, Sam. You're, you're talking about the immutable, the immutable characteristics of the blacks, but I think he's talking about the immutable characteristics of the whites being racist. So if you're saying that the people who attacked have an immutable characteristic of racism, and that's what, why they attack, you are also saying that people today who are white have the same immutable characteristic of being racist. That's the problem. Uh, I think that attack would not have happened. If those people, if those attackers were not white, and, so do, and, are you, do, and, are, and, and, do you and think I, white and, people and like, have an immutable characteristic of racism? Within the context of our society, yeah, yeah I think that there is. Well, I don't know that that is careful. I think no. The, the The question isn't whether the racism is immutable. The question is whether the whiteness is immutable. Well, what is in the whiteness? sense that? Well, in the sense that in the, in the sense that I mean, I, I, I'm using the way that this guy is talking about it. Because I don't believe that this guy thinks that uh, that uh, race is a uh, uh, is a social construct. I mean, he. I'm talking about the way that he is using in this context. He is talking about race. When he says a mutable characteristic is race, and I would say that yes, I think that uh, it is inherent in our society. And like I say, I think both black and uh, white people uh, share in some uh, function of white supremacy. But I think the whiteness of those people was the primary motivating factor in their attacking. What, what do you mean by whiteness? What, by how their, are you defining whiteness? In, in, in the context of people in 1921? Yeah, what, their, their be, yeah, their behavior is being motivated by whiteness. Well, no, 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 not in the, I, no, I think the, the, the key thing is, to be clear, you don't believe, I'm assuming you don't believe that, not like whiteness, like what does whiteness mean, but you don't believe that just because someone is white, that that means that they're inherently racist, right? No, I don't think, well, I mean, look, I happen to think, no, not inherently. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what you mean by necessarily inherently. It's but, an immutable but, characteristic that you're born with in the same way that you're born with skin color. Well, right. you're saying, no, that racism is an immutable characteristic. Right. And I'm not saying that. Okay. I know, but, so I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to clear up. I'm not saying that racism is immutable. Right, I mean, that's, what the, that's what the guy... That's what the guy is saying this, on the that's quote. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. He's saying okay. that you so can't teach that read, racism read, is immutable. Read, no, read, his, read the, the, the quote back to me again, please. I would never tell a kid that because of your race, because no, I know of the color that part, of your go, skin. Go, go, oh go, my go, god. Hello? Steven? He Hello? Hey! Who is this? Uh, I'm a new viewer. Oh, what? Okay, G give me like 20 seconds. Hold on. People are sending me voice notes now. Chill. One second. Kind of rude. Dick. What do you? All right. What do you want? I think Corantos has an immutable characteristic of being a dog shit co-host. Okay. Well, you say that, but in 20 minutes, we're about to start one of the most. Yeah, but listen. Moving forward, yeah. I've got a great idea. Right? Mm -hmm. You pay this fucking ignorant clown all this money, right, to to run the show and host all the show. What if you cut his pay in half and just made him the back end guy? And then I'll co-host, and you don't have to pay me anything. You're not convinced you can get enough nutrients on a plant-based diet? Where am I getting my nutrition? I don't know how to eat food. Someone please teach me how to eat. Truly sorry for having so rigorously, and it turns to have an anonymity, and it gets into material. What is this? Oh my god, Alex is vegan. Oh my god, he's eating broccoli. See you next time, bucko.